The United States' unclear crypto policies have led businesses like Ripple to explore investing outside the nation. Brad Garlinghouse has claimed, the Ripple CEO advised the U.S. to follow the U.K. and Singapore. How do you think this will affect the cryptocurrency and the U.S. economy? We will answer these questions in today's video. Attorney John Deaton, the creator of CryptoLaw and a pro-excerpt lawyer, remarked on William Hyman's contentious speech in 2018, contesting the sex's contention that the statement was solely Hyman's opinion. In a tweet yesterday, Deaton emphasized that Hyman's contentious speech had much too much influence from senior SEC officials to be considered his own view. The speech has 63 emails and 52 drafts from key SEC officials, according to the Proxer Up lawyer. Deaton said this in a comment on his July 2022 tweet on the document's email chain. Only the Ethics Office and Ethics Chief Dinge Serrano are not on the email chain with Hyman's documents, according to Deaton last year. Meanwhile, Deaton's newest tweet elicited criticism from members of the crypto community. Mark Fagel, a former SEC lawyer, also commented on the article. Fagel reminded Deaton of a Securities and Exchange Commission notion. According to Fagel, any comment made by an SEC employee that is not part of an enforcement action or a regulation agreed on by the agency's five commissioners is always assumed to reflect the speaker's views alone. He inquired as to why people are still perplexed by the sex's stance on the topic. Deaton responded to the criticism by emphasizing that people grasp the idea. However, he contended that the sex's arguments are invariably transactional, prompting Judge Sarah Netburn to call them out. Previously, the U.S. District Judge condemned the Commission's attorneys of disobeying the law. Deaton's new comments emphasized the fallout from Henman's 2018 Yahoo Finance All Markets Summit address. During his lecture, Hyman proclaimed Ethereum and Bitcoin to be non-securities. The remark drew attention from the crypto community when Ripple demanded the materials that led to the speech's composition. The paper, known colloquially as Henman's Documents, details internal sect debates around the speech. Remember that when Ripple mentioned the paper, the sect stated that the speech represented Hyman's viewpoint, not the commission's. Deaton has maintained his opposition. After Judge Sarah Netburn refused the sex application to seal the documents, the sex revised its stance. It is worth noting that, as previously reported by the crypto basic Judge Annalisa Torres, just ordered the unsealing of Hyman's records in her latest judgment. Following the ruling, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said that the company's attorneys will guarantee that Hyman's documents were made public with no redactions. According to reports, the address will be published on June 13, 2020. Three. However, there's persistent speculation that Hyman's documents may never be seen since the SEC and Ripple may reach an agreement before the deadline. At the time of publication, it was unclear if the parties were considering the details of a prospect of settlement. Brad Garlinghouse, the guy behind business blockchain solutions startup Ripple, believes the SEC's U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission case will be resolved within the next several weeks. Garlinghouse's ete on the resolution is shorter than the community consensus, which predicted that a decision may take months. Garlinghouse made the remarks during an interview with Mokaya Panich, Kio of Shkep Tanks. Shkep e Tanks is now presenting its fourth annual DEFI and Web3 virtual summit, which is being attended by industry heavyweights such as Circle Chief Jeremy Allaire, Arbitrum CEO Stephen Goldfeder, Chanalysis EO Michael Gronager, and Curve co-founder Michael Igorov. When questioned about the continuing dispute with the SEC, Brad Garlinghouse said that he anticipates a ruling within weeks rather than months. The Ripple CEO's prediction of a settlement is based on the presiding judge's recent decision to refuse the securities regulator's application to seal the notorious Hyman papers, which Garlinghouse feels is an indicative of the court's opinion. The Hyman records are internal emails and speeches pertaining to William Hyman, the former director of corporation finance at the SEC, who said in 2018 that Ethereum is not a security. Given the precedent that these records may create in the current Ripple action, the SEC has made multiple efforts to seal them. Brad Garlinghouse also accused the SEC and the Biden administration of prioritizing politics above sound policy causing crypto entrepreneurs and innovation to flee the country. The Ripple CEO remarked that the regulatory environment in the United States is one of the reasons why the majority of his firm's customers are not from the United States. The FedNow Quick Payment Service is set to launch soon, 
and on May 11, the Metal blockchain team announced that it would be integrated with FidNow. Metal users may now utilize the send receive feature of FidNow to immediately convert their cash to stablecoin and back. The partnership between FidNow and Metal Blockchain exemplifies the growing convergence of blockchain technology and conventional banking. Metallicus has created a cryptocurrency network called Metal Blockchain, which is based on a fork of the original Avalanche source code. It was created so that developers working on decentralized financial DeFi systems would have alternatives that wouldn't break the law. As a sign of its dedication to identity verification and anti-money laundering, AML, Safeguard's Metals creators have stressed the network's basis of Bank Secrecy Act. ZO, Compliance. Developers may create and apply asset transfer rules on Metal Blockchain's X-Chain subnet. A token may be issued with some limitations, such as being used exclusively by residents of the United States or being unavailable for trade until the next day. Metal was one of the first blockchain networks to be included as a FedNow service provider, and although the precise criteria for integration with FedNow remain unknown, Metal's adherence to regulatory requirements undoubtedly contributed to its participation. The integration between Metal Blockchain and FNAL paves the way for the creation of distributed bank chains. This paves the way for the development of a more robust ecosystem for the blockchain, one that provides security and does away with the need for Oracle. By maintaining a connection to FNAL, banks may coordinate payment processing and settlements. In addition, the adoption of a CBC and the creation of bank. Issued stablecoins that can interact within a basket of stablecoin currencies are both made easier thanks to this connection. Some U.S. politicians, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and U.S. presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr., are worried about the privacy implications of the integration of FedNow and Metal Blockchain and see it as a first step toward a blockchain, based despite its potential benefits, despite its potential benefits. The Federal Reserve, meanwhile, has disputed that FNAU is affiliated with a CBET. Metallicus co-founder and CEO Marshall Hayner responded to complaints about CBETs by saying they will be subjected to the same degree of scrutiny as the conventional banking system. The integration of metal blockchain with FNAU, he said, would improve the current financial infrastructure and promote safe and efficient payment processing between banks, therefore putting to rest the issues surrounding CBETs. Finally, the integration of FNAU and Metal Blockchain represents a significant step forward in the world of fast payments and decentralized finance. Because of this connection, consumers may easily exchange fiat currency for stablecoins, opening the door to greater financial inclusion and efficiency. Metal Blockchain's approach to regulatory compliance and the possibility of distributed bank chain show how conventional banking institutions and blockchain technology are converging a trend that will shape the future of digital payments.